Have you got a disk where you actually cannot open or you cannot open some files on that disk and you think that all data is gone? There might be a fix. Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to fix your hard drive if it has errors, bad sectors, using either command prompt or built-in Windows features. So let me show you how. Alright guys, let's say one of these three disks is not working. So how do you get it going? When you try to open it, you get an error, something like this. And let me show you how to fix it. And like most things in life, there are two ways to do it. First one, we're obviously going to focus on the command prompt. To do that, we just right click our start button, whether your Windows 10 or 11 doesn't matter. Just right click, click on Windows Terminal, Command Prompt or Windows PowerShell, depending on your operating system. Select the one that says admin next to it. Click on it and that will open this window. Now all you need to do is just type in a single command. It's called chk dsk space forward slash x. X is to dismount the drive and then forward slash R is to repair bad sectors. So if you are trying to fix a hard drive that may have problems, go with forward slash R. If you have an SSD or a flash drive, you can go with forward slash F. And if you want to know a bunch more commands, you can just type a question mark next to the forward slash and you will see all of the commands that are available if you want to delve deeper into this. But the most important ones are, as I showed earlier, forward slash X and then forward slash R. Now, those are the actual commands slash parameters, but you need to specify the disk. So all you need to do is just type check disk and, and let's say that the drive S here, which is the Samsung NVMe SSD that I have, is having problems. In that case, I will type in space, S, and then colon. And then instead of R, because it's an SSD, I will type in F. F is for fixing errors, remember it like that. And then R is for recovering bad sectors. Press enter, and the drive will be dismounted. All right, so we have the results here and you can see step one, it examined the file structure. Everything seemed to be good. It checked the file name linkage. That seemed to be good as well. And then check the security descriptors. You don't need to delve into details that much, but generally speaking, you can see Windows scanned this file system and found no problems. No further action is required. Now let me show you the second way to do it. If your PC only had a single drive, say C drive where your Windows is installed, and also you have all your files there and somehow that is not responding properly or not booting properly. You can boot into Windows recovery and run the command that I showed earlier. But if you can boot into Windows and get to this screen, you can right click, then click on properties and you can go to tools and then click on error checking, check. And that will actually tell you that you don't need to scan this drive. We haven't found any errors on this drive. You can still scan the drive if you want. We're gonna click scan and I'll let it scan. In some cases, it may ask you to reboot your system so it can actually unmount the drive and check whether your drive needs repairing or not. But you can see my drive was successfully scanned. No errors were found. If you click on show detail, you can see the actual event log in the event viewer. And there it is. It says examining basic file system structure on C drive. These many records processed. If you scroll down, you can see Windows has scanned the file system and found no further action is required. And that's pretty much it. If you have a USB drive or an external hard drive, the steps remain the same. All you need to do, either go from here or go from command prompt if you like to be very specific of what drive you want to do. And if your drive is not accessible, say if you can't access this properties page for some reason, so you can always go chk dsk, then your drive letter, say C drive, and then forward slash X space forward slash F. And if you have a physical rotating spinning hard drive instead of F, R. And it actually doesn't hurt to run the F command as well because F tries to fix all the booting and file linkage problems with your drive and R tries to recover any bad sectors. So after running the R command and if you're running an old hard drive, you might see there is a little bit less space that you can use on your drive. That's because Windows actually blocks off any bad sectors found on that part of your hard drive. And there you have it guys, that's how you fix your hard drive 
by checking errors by using built-in Windows tools without actually downloading any third-party software. Let me know down in the comments below whether one of these commands help you fix your hard drive and smash that like button if this video helped you. Consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell just down there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!